Hi everyone, I have a mini album I titled Love, kind of a shabby chic style. It's using Melissa Francis papers. This is the cover and these are this is from the paper collection and this I printed out on my own. It says love and you shall be loved. Have two tags on the front so you can title your album. The mulberry flowers, these are from the uh, floral department at Michael's. Some seam binding. These are Joe Lee's stickers lilac. And here's the spine. I used uh, some crochet fabric piece and I randomly glued on some vintage pearl buttons with little ribbons tied on. The back is got some stickers from the collection and place to journal. Open it up. This is a die cut from Spellbinders. Radiant rectangles. And I left the corner up so a picture can be slid inside. Use that piece to cut the picture to fit and then slide it right back in and glue the end down. Here's a resin lady. Some more vintage pearl buttons. Chipboard butterflies I painted with buttercream acrylic paint and then dry brushed champagne acrylic paint over the top. Got some little rosebuds. This is a rub on. And this is a little journaling spot this page. Held closed with magnet, opens like this. And the tag comes out. Like this. And another tag. Held, this is held in with a magnet. 5 by 7 photo map. These corner dot pieces are Heartfelt Creations Decorative Blossom Corner. Here's a lace pocket. Some Prima Bling. Some more Jolie's Lilac stickers. This is a kind of a wallet. journaling spot, place for pictures. I left the ribbon up high so it would fit above the pocket. Here's a little shaker tag. And a 5 by 7 tag. page opens like this. Now they're held in with a magnet. 5 by 7 Here we have two 4x4 four four photo mats. And then you pull out a tag. It has a little heart there. Pretty on top. Rub on up there. Lace pocket. Three four by six photo mats. Five by seven photo mat. Place to slide your picture behind. This is from the collection. Melissa Francis, Prima, seam binding, a little, some string. This is a doily I made into a, an envelope. This is a resin piece. And you lift up, help, oh, first you pull this out. Four by six, with a key on top. 
it slides in behind there, but then this opens with a magnet and you pull this out. Put four pictures on that. This is a random chipboard piece I had in my stash. A little top heavy this tag. Oh, well, you can open this. And there's a tag here for journaling. This is a 4x6 tag. You can slide your picture up under there. This opens like this and like this. 5x7 photos in that one. And here's a dress form that I dressed. Some lace, two colors of lace. Prima bling. Oh, there's a resin piece there. This one opens like this. And you can untie this. Two small photos, three small photos. These are little tags that come out. Just cut from the collection. Picture can go here. Four by six photo mat. Journaling spot. A little piece of cut out from lace. A round photo here or a square. You don't have to stay inside the box. Chipboard piece. Rub on. I think I printed that. Had it in my stash. Then the waterfall, which has journaling spot up here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. spots plus each side. I forgot to count. I know the whole book can hold a conservative count of 65 photos. I enjoy making this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a good day.